What happens to your body when you eat more protein? Protein is a vital macronutrient that's responsible for so many functions in the whole body. For starters, it creates hormones and enzymes. Second, it helps keep the blood, bones, muscles, hair, and nails healthy. Needless to say, there are many good reasons as to why you should eat more protein. Most people eat enough protein to prevent deficiency, but for some, they do better with much higher protein consumption. One of its effects on the body is that it helps control weight by reducing appetite and hunger pangs. Awesome, isn't it? We will talk more about that and everything else in this video, so don't go and continue watching. Number 1. Minimizes Appetite and Hunger Among the three macronutrients, namely fats, carbs, and protein, Protein is by far the most filling. It promotes the feeling of fullness with only less food. One reason for this is that protein reduces the level of hunger hormones GHRLIN. Another explanation is that protein boosts the levels of YY, a hormone that makes you feel full. Combining these two effects can have a significant impact on your appetite. So, if you're thinking of losing weight or fat, swap some of your carbs and fats with protein. They don't have to be huge dietary changes. As simple as reducing your rice portion and adding a couple of cuts of meat or fish will suffice. Number 2. Cut back cravings and desire for midnight snacking. Many people mistake craving for hunger and vice versa. This is where they're gravely wrong. Cravings are more about the brain needing a reward. Unfortunately, they're very hard to control. Hence, the best way to overcome them is to stop them from happening in the first place. Increasing your protein intake is one great way to solve this. According to a study about overweight men, bumping up protein to 25% of calories reduces cravings by 60% and the desire to snack at night by half. Similarly, a study on overweight adolescent girls revealed that having a high-protein breakfast reduced cravings and late-night snacking. This may be influenced by an improvement in the function of dopamine, one of the hormones involved in cravings. Number 3. Enhances metabolism and increases fat burning Did you know that eating can surge your metabolism for a short while? This is thanks to the body using calories to digest and utilizing nutrients in foods. This process is what they call TEF, or the thermic effect of food. But here's the catch. It varies on the type of food. For instance, protein has a way higher thermic effect of 20 to 35% than 5 to 15% of fats or carbs. And so, high protein intake can notably boost metabolism and increase the number of calories being burned. This can amount to 80 to 100 additional calories burned daily. In fact, other research suggests that you can burn more. One study showed that a high protein group burned 260 calories more per day compared to a low protein group. That's like doing an hour of moderate intensity exercise per day. Number 4. Strengthens the bones. It's funny how some people still believe that protein, mainly animal protein, is harmful to the bones. This myth comes from the idea that protein increases the acid load, resulting in calcium leaching from the bones so the acid can be neutralized. But it turns out that most long-term studies point to protein, including animal protein having major benefits for bone health. For instance, eating more protein improves one's bone mass as they age. Also, it greatly lowers the risk of osteoporosis and fractures. This is especially beneficial to women who are at a higher risk of osteoporosis after menopause. Consuming tons of protein and staying active help prevent bone issues. Number 5. Boost Muscle Mass and Strength We've said this before, protein is the building block of the muscles. For this reason, eating enough amounts of protein aids in maintaining your muscle mass. Not to mention, this encourages muscle growth when you start strength training. As a matter of fact, several studies have backed that consuming loads of protein can help boost muscle mass and strength. If you're physically active, doing weightlifting, or building muscle, then you must eat enough protein. Plus, high protein intake can prevent muscle loss, which tends to happen during weight loss. Number 6. Helps in Weight Management A high-protein diet enhances metabolism and leads to an automatic reduction in calorie intake and cravings. 
In turn, many people who follow such a diet tend to lose weight almost instantly. A study revealed that overweight women who ate 30% of their calories from protein lost 5 kilos in 12 weeks even without intentionally restricting their diet. On another note, protein also has fat loss benefits during intentional calorie restriction. In a study about people who are on a calorie-restricted diet, the high-protein group shed 53% more body fat than the normal protein group, consuming the same number of calories. But then again, losing weight is just the start. Maintaining your weight loss is a much harder challenge for many people. A modest increase in protein consumption can already help with weight maintenance. So, if you want to keep up that number on the scale, then you should regularly increase your protein intake. Number 7. Lowers the blood pressure High blood pressure is a primary cause of strokes, heart attacks, and chronic kidney disease. But there might be an easy way to lower your blood pressure, and that's through a higher protein intake. Higher protein intake has been found to lower blood pressure. According to a review of 40 controlled trials, higher protein reduced systolic blood pressure by 1.76 mm Hg on average, as well as diastolic blood pressure by 1.15 mm Hg. Furthermore, another study showed that aside from lowering blood pressure, following a high-protein diet also reduces LDL or bad cholesterol and triglycerides. Number 8. Aids in the natural repair process of the body Protein helps the body repair itself after an injury. This is a fact that not many people are aware of. Protein is necessary for building and repairing not just the muscle, but also the skin and other body tissues. This makes perfect sense as protein forms the main building blocks of your organs and tissues. In fact, Multiple studies have demonstrated that eating more protein after an injury can help accelerate recovery. So if you have a wound, think of food as medicine. Make sure to eat a balanced diet with enough calories and plenty of protein. Number 9. Improves the immune system Eating more protein also gives your immune system a boost. The immune system is made up of proteins. As such, the more protein your body gets, the better your protein synthesis is and the better it functions. On the other hand, if you don't get enough protein, it will weaken your immune system. On top of that, proteins help in fighting back against bacteria and other harmful substances in the body. That's because protein is necessary when producing antibodies, which are essential in protecting your immune system. So, if your immune system has taken a hit or you're getting sick more often recently, then having a high-protein diet can help improve your immune system. How much protein should you consume and how often? For sedentary adults, aim for 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of their body weight or 0.36 grams per pound. In other words, an average sedentary man should eat around 56 grams of protein per day, while the average woman should eat around 46 grams. Is eating too much protein harmful? Some of you may have heard of the scary things about how too much protein can damage the kidney and liver. But this isn't actually a concern. If there's anything concerning about overconsumption of protein, it only applies to people who are predisposed to kidney disease. The human body cannot store protein. And so, once the daily quota is reached, the body converts the excess protein into either energy or fat. This is mostly the reason why it's better to get the recommended amount of protein and opt for carbs and fats for the rest of your daily calories. Examples of good protein sources widely available In general, the healthiest protein sources come from plants. That said, the right types of meat are also healthy when eaten in moderation. Here are some great protein sources to get you started. 1. Nuts 2. Seeds 3 beans and lentils, 4. Soy, 5. 8. Whites, 6. Whey protein, 7. Low-fat dairy, 8. Fish, 9. Lean beef or pork, 10. Skinless chicken or turkey. Are you now convinced to eat more protein? Share your thoughts and comments about this video below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.